In this video, we will look at two examples to practice finding the area and perimeter of rhombuses. In example A, it says to find the perimeter and area of the rhombus below. Notice that all four sides are marked as being congruent, which is why this is a rhombus. What we're given are two portions of the diagonals. This is length 12 and this is length 8. Now one property of a rhombus is that its diagonals are perpendicular. That means this is a right angle and therefore this is a right triangle. So because we're not given the side length, but it is a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for our side length of the rhombus. So that would be 12 squared plus 8 squared equals s squared. So that gives us 144 plus 64 equals s squared. So 208 equals s squared. And once we take the square root of both sides, we get that each side is approximately 14.42 units long. So each of these sides are 14.42. So if we want to figure out the perimeter, all we need to do is add up all four of the sides because the perimeter is the distance around a shape. So since all four of the sides are the same, we can just do 4 times 14.42, which is the same thing as if we were to add up 14.42 plus 14.42 plus 14.42 plus 14.42. So that gives us about 57.69 units. All right, so to figure out the area of this rhombus, remember that the area of a rhombus is the product of the diagonals divided by two. So the diagonals would be this length, which will be 24 because it's 12 plus 12. And the other diagonal will be right here, and it will be 16 because it's 8 plus 8. Now the reason you know that it has to be divided evenly, 12 and 12 and 8 and 8, is that another property of rhombuses is that their, their diagonals bisect each other. Okay, so we know that our area will be 24 times 16 divided by 2. So that gives us 384 divided by 2 which is 192 units squared. All right, let's go to example B. Find the perimeter and area of the rhombus below. So this time we know different information than last time. We know all four sides are 14, so we can figure out the perimeter pretty easily by just doing four times 14 to get our answer of 56 units. Now for the area, we need to know the length of the diagonals, which are not given to us. But we do have the 60 degree angle, and we also have the knowledge that all four of the angles in the middle are right angles, because the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. So that means that this right here is a 30-60-90 triangle, and we know the length of the hypotenuse. So because this is a special right triangle, I know that the side across from the 30 degree angle must be 7 because it's half the length of the hypotenuse and my other side across from the 60 degree angle will be 7 root 3. So with that knowledge I now know that the length of the diagonals are 14 and 14 root 3. If I just think about the totals that would be 14 and the other ones 14 root 3. So since the area is diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2 my area in this case will be 14 times 14 root 3 divided by 2. And that is 196 root 3 divided by 2, which is 98 root 3 units squared.